What is up? This is Nathan, that I'm a viewer guy, and oh boy, we're talking about 6AM's new album, Prayers for the Damned Volume 1, their fourth album. Part 1 of a two-part album, a double album if you will, in which Part 2 is scheduled to come out later this year. Now, you guys may be wondering why I opened this up the way I did. And it's because of the last album that 6AM put out back in 2014. It was called Modern Vintage. I reviewed it. And if you remember correctly, I really was not a big fan of it. I was very disappointed by it. I think that was the angriest review maybe that I've done. I don't recall. But... I don't usually get angry in my reviews. I try to keep that to a very bare minimum. But, uh, yeah, I didn't really care for that album all too much. And I was very hesitant to even give this one a shot because of how much I disliked Modern Vintage. But I decided to give it a shot anyway. Now, the main problem with Modern Vintage for me was I said that it lacked emotion and direction. They didn't seem all too eager to be performing the music that they had written. And as for the direction part, it seemed like that a Modern Vintage, they didn't know where they wanted to go with the album. They didn't know what style they wanted to do. As for this album, well, they knew exactly what they wanted to do. They went in a very hard rock oriented direction, as opposed to trying four or five different genres and throwing crap at the wall and seeing what sticks. They didn't do that with this album. Sure, there are a couple of softer songs, but what rock album doesn't have a couple of softer songs, let's be honest. And it worked. It worked with this album as opposed to Modern Vintage, because Modern Vintage, like I said, they didn't know what they were doing. They felt, it felt like they didn't know what style they wanted to go with. This one, they had a clear direction of where they wanted to go. They wanted a hard rock album, a couple of soft songs, and they did just that. They did it fairly well, as a matter of fact. It still lacks a bit of emotion compared to their first two albums, if you ask me. But this is definitely a big improvement for modern vintage. I am not going to go as far as to say I love this album. I am going as far as to say as I think this album is much better than Modern Vintage. Not up there with This Is Gonna Hurt. Not up there with the Heroin Diary soundtrack. However, it is definitely a solid effort from 6AM. And I'm glad that I gave this a shot because it gives me hope for the band. It really does. It makes me think that they just had a flop with Modern Vintage and there's nowhere to go but up from there. Hopefully Volume 2 will be just as good, if not a little better. My favorites on the album, Rise, You Have Come to the Right Place, When We Were Gods and Everything Went to Hell. And I don't have any least favorites, and overall this album gets a 7 out of 10. Like I said, it's not the best thing that 6AM has ever done, but compared to Modern Vintage, it's pretty good. It's pretty good at all. And, uh, like I said, they, they better... They better keep it going. They better keep the streak going with Volume 2. Or else I will be very disappointed and we might get another rant review on 6AM. Like we did with Modern Vintage. But, what did you guys think of the album? Let me know. Of course, my social media stuff is down there. Check that out if you will. And like, comment, subscribe for new content. And I'll see you guys in the next one. That I'm Reviewer Guy, signing off.